Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fate Weaver Plays, this time in Call of Cthulhu. Uh, that was an intro, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I am terrible at this. Still, every time I go to record, it's just like... Bam, I forget how everything works. Anyways, this is Call of Cthulhu. Enter Madness. Just in case my first intro wasn't clear, this is Call of Cthulhu. Uh, it's an older game. Uh, that I've never played before. Uh, I heard some good things about it. Apparently it's a horror game and I hate horror, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, but I am, I have always been sort of interested in the Cthulhu mythos. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's get in the game, new game. Enter Madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end, H.P. Lovecraft. Oh. Oh, they're really throwing me right into it, aren't they? That's a shark in my face. I don't like the ringing. Oh, my game is saved already. Wow. How nice of them. Uh, time to get into the game. Moving. Yep. Hello, I assume you're a shark. Yeah. Hello, shark. Wow, the music is, like, really loud. Crouch. Okay, I can't get in there, so I have to crouch. This is very atmospheric. I'm gonna look this way first, just because that doesn't look uh, too promising. Oh, it's another another thing, which I can't seem to. Oh, okay. You don't just click; it's E. Um, nothing's happening, so I assume I can't do that. Very atmospheric. Bolt cutters. I assume I'm supposed to go this way now. Very nice. Oh, okay. Are you Cthulhu? If you are, I appreciate you speaking English for me. I'm not bilingual. I took French classes, but I don't remember anything because I had like a skew of... And I've heard this from a lot of people. Does French just like have a really bad habit of having bad teachers? Or was it just me, and I find too many people who agree with me? Because I had like a slew. Oh, that's an orca. Or blackfish. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Ah. Oh. Everything has already been written. Why don't you have eyes? Why do none of you have eyes? But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Why don't I have eyes? Love 1920s music. I hate whiskey.
I wonder why I still take these things. Uh, as someone who also has to take sleeping pills to sleep, just I like- I used to be an avid reader. Hey, same! I- I- I relate to you too much. Uh, yeah, I- I- I take melatonin to sleep. Uh, cause I don't sleep too well. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Why are you so pixely? Like, this game isn't that old, right? It's like incredibly pixelated if you turn it too much. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Hmm. Love that music. A good old story of blackmail and a speakeasy. Right, speakeasies, those were things. The 1920s are like, well, a very dangerous time and not a time I would like to live in. We're very interesting. Like to read about and stuff. I should get rid of all this stuff. Oh, did I have to do that? Come on, the music was great. Now it won't let me turn it back on. Oh, hey, it's a phone. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Yeah, give me a second, phone. Pierce Investigation Agency, October 20th, 1924. Or the 20th of October. Either way, it's a day. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams. But they are different. Unknown. They seem to surface... Surface? Surface from an unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? It has a name. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? Yes. Yes, That's I correct. am. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Ooh. Allocate character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. Okay. Alright. What am I doing here? Do I... Can I add points? Do I have points that I can add. Oh, I have eight character points. And there are seven skills. Uh, this one. Uh, investigation, psychology, and occultism. I'll add another point to all of these. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? I don't know, may What's you? wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still- Okay, so he's not exactly a private detective. I'm coming! <coughs> Lip sync isn't, uh... This game's strong suit, it seems. Maybe I'm just being harsh. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Yep, lip sync. Not the greatest. 
But these camera shots are nice. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. You brought a single I painting. Look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. How is that proof? Oh, hey. What am I supposed to find? Is that the guy? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. All right. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I, I mean, it's a, a nice file on your painting. Desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Notebook for details. Examine the painting. Examine the Hawkins file. A warehouse on Darkwater. Wow, Some sketches that's... of the Hawkins family. A lot of stuff. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. How Warehouse 36, Darkwater. A police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insisted on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life with their only son, Simon. Okay. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Uh... You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Um... Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah huh. lived there with her son and her husband. I wonder if I that's a real place. To ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. All right. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. That's a pretty nice, uh, the voice actors are doing I well. Think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. 
Although the animation work is with her family in a house weird fight. sometimes. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. You, you know, queer. if I'm working with you, you don't have to insult choice. me every second. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Uh, there's the book. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Huh. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. I mean, a lot of whales in that cave in your dream, dude. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Have a drink or don't drink. Have a drink. This will affect your destiny. Oh. So this is a choice-based game uh, where choices actually affect things. The learning of medicine. Ooh. Medicine progression. Oh, cool. I used to be an avid reader. Yeah, he already said that voice line. Anyways, time to go. That was a blast in my ears. Love this music, though. Very atmospheric. Very atmospheric. Atmospheric indeed. Although it is, like, kind of loud in my ears. I might have to fix that in post. I don't know why, but I look at my wrist a lot for, like, a watch, but I haven't worn a watch in almost two years now. Last time I wore a watch was, like, the day Spider-Man Far From Home came, because I remember I broke my watch that day. I didn't break, like, the watch watch, I broke a strap on the watch. Uh, and it wasn't a strap you could, like, easily fix. Um, yeah. So I've been meaning We're to find more there. endless loop games to play because I stream a lot. Well, I used to stream a lot. I haven't streamed in like a week or two. It's, it's nearly been two weeks uh, because of like the holiday and stuff. And then afterwards, I just didn't find the right time in my schedule. But I've been meaning to find more of those for Call of Cthulhu title drop. I've been meaning to find more of those for the stream. Plus, like, endless loop games, you can then create, like, edits like I do for Phasmophobia, which is a very fun way to get creative. Um, it's been a while since I've, like, truly felt creative. Because, um, like, while making these videos, I, I am creating a bit in the sense that, like, I'm putting out content. It's not super creative. You know, because I'm just, like, posting most of my videos raw. Stay I don't do a lot of editing or anything. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? A lot of these art assets the look amazing. Mean to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. But the actual animation work isn't always the greatest, unfortunately. 
But it's okay, the art looks amazing. And his wife. There's Sarah bits Hall. of this game you could probably take screenshots uh, of and like, they look like a painting. A great painting. What a tragedy. New place discovered. Ooh, you know and I'm what? allowed to walk around it? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for ah. him. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Why do you Understood. have documents on them? I'm going for a look around the docks. Go to Bar Harbor. See some whales. Speaking of whales, holy crap. Hey, Sullivan. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not huh. sailors. It's a sign. Anyways, talk to Fitzroy, go to bar. Um, yeah, so. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. It seems that Cthulhu likes whales. Just a, just a bathroom through here. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Yeah, it seems to track whale sightings or something. That's a cool ship. Um. Hey, another medicine book. Cool, cool, cool. Medicine progression. 14%. Which is higher than my occultism, and I put two things into it. So these books end up uh, helping a lot, I assume. Uh, there he is. So if he's there, I want to look around a little bit more. Always got to look around, look around, look around. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. He has a wooden leg. Nothing on the back. What a macabre souvenir. The wooden leg. Fitzroy, did you kill your brother? And then him, and then hold his leg in your like office area? No, that's probably a bit too dark. Why am I yawning? Wow. Oh my goodness. A cellar. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Hmm. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. I cannot afford to provoke us. You cannot afford to evoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. Huh. Dripping ceiling. Got it. Yeah, but the animation work isn't always the greatest, but the actual, like, art assets themselves look beautiful. Like, this is stunning. The birds flying up there. Like, if I looked here, where I don't really see a lot of people, this is a painting. It really is. I mean, you sort of see the guy there, but, like, he's far enough that any, like, smaller animation bugs you wouldn't see. Most of the animation bugs come from, like, they don't deform properly where they should. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. Okay. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're uh, done, 
Come join me on the deck. And people who talk, uh, their upper lip seems to not move at all. It seems to be very stationary. What? Why? How did I do that? What? On the desk next to me. Oh, I hit the middle mouse button by accident. I don't know how. My middle mouse must have been, like, weirdly sensitive. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Manifests? And is that it? That's unfortunate. Talk to Fitzroy. Hello, sir. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The uh -huh. hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. It's really weird to hear, like, uh, such northern accents because, uh, anyways. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, talk about dark water. Dark water. <laughs> See, I'm... <laughs> My accent's coming out. Uh, I don't really have that much of an accent, uh, but I did live in, I did, uh, what are words, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, tar talk about dark water, what are words, uh, who's cat, I'm just killer back whale. from the wharves, the dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors, ah yes, us men of the sea are superstitious folk. It's the Cthulhu. Uh, why are they putting it back to sea? What would have the killed The police it? took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, you're gonna take me for a fool. Oh. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. The Cthulhu. You're talking about mythology. Uh, indeed, you're right. A uh, fascinating th thing about killer whales, though, uh, is that one of their one of the predators of a moose actually tends to be killer whales because moose can dive uh, quite a large distance. Uh, who is cat? And the photograph looks like you. I Who's found cat? a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly. No. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. All right. Uh, and the photograph looks like I it. was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Hmm. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it 
if you're interested. I did see it. Um, return. Ask about Warehouse 36. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Dope, dope, dope. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? I don't. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Never mind, I did know. Uh. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Alright. Time to go. One character point, which I can put into anything. Um. Eloquence is talking to people. Spot hidden is spotting hidden things. Strength is physical power. Which is also includes violence. Father, I crave violence. Um. With the, with the cat. Oh, these two can only be improved by things I find during an investigation. The rest is where I can put my uh, character points. I think spot hidden. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, and I have one more character point. Uh, let's put another point into elegance. Eloquence, not elegance. That's a different thing. Yeah. Uh, dark water, clues, inhabitants, places, occult, bunch of people, places, occult, just this painting with this symbol, uh, clues, chapter one was file and the painting, chapter two is photograph of Captain Fitzroy, threatening letter, the manifests, inventory, just my lighter still. Knowledge. Oh, knowledge. Cool, cool, cool. Get inside warehouse 36 or go to the bar. Let's go to the warehouse. Hey, a bunch of sailors. I mean, it has such an atmosphere. Ugh. I got the yawns again. Oh, come on, car. You're blocking the way. Am I not supposed to go this way to get there? I must go this way, I guess. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Yep. Uh, which goes to that, which leads to there. But I just have to find a way to get up there. Which I would do. I can't tell what my spot hidden is trying to tell me. I can't climb that. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? can't tell. I don't know this game well enough. I know I'm supposed to go there, but is there another way to get up there? There's that window. Maybe it's a door. So what if... You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't I did. hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Bootleggers? Ooh. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. Leave. I shall take my leave. Okay. So there was a door up there. Can I climb that? There's no, like, jump button, so I can't attempt to climb it. Yeah, unfortunate. The run speed is not very fast. It's like Phasmophobia, horror games. Uh, 
one of the things that adds to everything. Hmm. Oh, you're the cop again. This way, maybe? How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? Hmm. I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. Stiletto and knife. On your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Huh. They left the entrance unguarded. That's good to know. Hmm. Can I move past them? Like, can I just straight up talk to them and tell me who's this guy? No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Uh Investigate their activities. Cat sent me. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Uh... You work for Cat? Cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. Okay, I guess I'm quite gonna have to... She can make two men like you tremble. Try the lie. <laughs> she redid the smile of the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gross. Anyways... Really scared and return cat sent me. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I dunno what you're talking about. <laughs> you got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If What's I with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Okay, so that didn't work. She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. I bid you gentlemen farewell. Okay, there has to be another way if, if I can't eloquence. get rid of those two. I'll have to look for another way. Yep. Let's go to the bar. There really is something coming. I love the atmosphere of this game. I keep talking about the atmosphere, but the atmosphere is great. Come on, someone has to clean those floors later. Why would you spit on them? That's gross. Oh, hey, oof. be careful. That must be Cat. Perfect. Going to the bar was Let's the right get idea. Another drink. It's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. It wasn't me who went looking for it. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Mm-hmm. 
the Hawkins warehouse, order a drink, find out about no prohibition around here. Find out about Sarah Hawkins, why the stranded whale. What can you tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. <laughs> I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh, no, I want to go talk to Cat. That'll be all for now. Where was she? I just saw her. She's somewhere. This way. What? Another break? One of those. Can't you see that we're in the middle of a conversation? I told you to beat it. I mean, you haven't said anything to me. I told you to beat it. Now you told me to beat it. Hmm. Can't get back there. Sir. 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 Uh, there's no way to get back there to him, so I have to wait. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Huh. And Henry said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? There you go, you're back. You again? Yes, me again. Uh, or Captain again. Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? Uh, no prohibition? What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? Why is the camera all the way to the side of this guy and it keeps moving? Like, why, not? why are you pushing him First into... Off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams. That sort of thing. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh, yeah, can you finally give me a drink? No prohibition. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Oh, it's Cat. Anything else? Uh. I read the article on the miraculous catch. Interesting local folklore. Don't get it into your head to repeat that round here. It's more than folklore. On that day, the crew of the Scylla caught an exceptional catch. The biggest whale ever caught. They save dock water from famine. Okay. Uh, why the stranded whale? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and <laughs> flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Hmm. What can you tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her painting. I've heard this before. And then... Uh... It's not ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it... The truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Huh. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. 
I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? Perhaps. So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I mean, I have seen them. I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh, no, I think I've gone through all the dialogue options with you. Yep, I have. That'll be all for now. I told you to beat it. Okay. So, n that was not helpful. Let's go see if Captain Fitzroy has anything that can help us. You're back again. I am. What can I do for you? Again, this game has a habit of putting whoever you're talking to in like a third of the screen. Apparently the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Where would I find a sewer? I mean, besides the one that I think I already found. Because I can't climb anything. Huh. There's a spot hidden somewhere here. But I don't know how to use spot hidden. Not that. Cult. This. This is part of a cult? Uh, places. Stranded whale. Inhabitants. Roy Mitchell. How do I use spot hidden? I don't assume I can just like burn this rope or something. I mean, I'd need to burn a different rope. How do I use spot hidden? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Hmm. Do I just have to walk around until like it glows the brightest or something? There it is. Ratchet device. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Okay, there's another spot hidden. A lever. A handle. It must come from these old winches. A ladder. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Um, mount the ratchet device, mount handle. I need one more thing, I guess. There's something else around here. There. It should cogwheel. be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. There we go. I'm learning. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Yep. There we go. Easy as pie.
Which, by the way, I've never got that expression. Like, what, what, what part of the pie is easy? Is it making the pie? Is it eating the pie? Because if it's eating the pie, then that could be said about literally any food. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, am I getting more Cthulhu horror elements? Because... <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> I mean, you're coughing, so... I don't assume it's good. Let's hope you don't get dragged down by anything. Drowning is like one of my biggest fears. Oh, uh, what are you? Okay. Oh my goodness. Just seaweed. Just seaweed. Just seaweed. Okay. Whew. Got that blood pumping a bit. <laughs> this is primitive. Yeah. Huh. All right. Oh, this place stinks. Another character point, uh, which I can put into eloquence, spot hidden strength, psychology. Hmm. Let's try eloquence. Woo. Yeah. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Reconstruction scene. Oh, uh, that's bright. That's bright. That's bright. What happened here? Someone smashed a mirror. Okay, this is interesting. What is this, this is... picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? This is what psychology is used for, and occultism. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Mm-hmm. Give me a second before I leave the reconstruction. It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Oh, are painkillers expensive? Uh... Character point again. Consult the journal. Clues. Hawkins Warehouse. Okay. Skills. Got a character. Two character points, actually. Um. Spot hidden. Only needs one point. That needs four. This needs two. So I'll put one more point into that. Probably could have done another point into eloquence and got that, but it's fine. Actually, yeah, let's get, let's get that. Uh, someone has settled in here. 
And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Hello? No, don't move. Detective Pierce. Yep. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. No, you didn't. Look around you. Someone has settled in here. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. Ow. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, huh. would you please shut the door? Now open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. I did. God Literally. Damn it. Her again. Hey, cat. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see <clears throat> them down there. And he's not Why even that big. Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. All right. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Huh. It doesn't look too bad for a building that apparently burned down. Keep... I like how it keeps asking me to enter madness. Looks like cats already cut you once. Hmm. I wonder who's here. Because that was definitely a first-person perspective, and someone was breathing heavily. So. Do you think mayhap Simon survived? Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. Yee yee yee. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Winchester. Uh. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Um... I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. Yeah. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. And yet the Not whole family died. To save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have questions, dude. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or... If there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Uh, no. Night falls quickly here. 
and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Let's -a go. Because that provides so much light. Oh, now I can't put it away. I keep hitting the button to put it away, but it won't work. There it goes, finally. Can you not be slow, dude? Speed up. There's an area over here. Graves. Hello. And then this way to the manor proper. There's no way to get in from there, so I assume this way. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You were trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We got them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa. Uh. 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 You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Uh, don't defile it, please grab the axe. I work for S Stephen Winchester. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may Ow. not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And yeah. I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Uh... You shouldn't really need this. No key. one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <sighs> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on then, just to get rid of you. I feel Let's that achievement wasn't fair. From this match. The terrible old man. It's not terrible. You took forever. Yes. Shall we enter? Yeah. No thanks to you, I had to deal with, uh, Silas. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Why do you sound like someone from the Adams family? Uh, what's his name? He sounds... Am I the only one? He has, like, this weird gruffness to his voice. <sighs> These loading times. Follow me. I know the place. You, well, you walk slow on. as hell. 
I have two character points, which I can put into both of them into psychology, because that's only two points away. Yep. And then I'm going to end this episode of Call of Cthulhu here. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're new, hit the notification bell, because subscriptions don't matter. That's the only thing that matters. Hit the bell. Uh, anyways. Uh... Yeah, where was I before I went into my thing again about the thing? Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. <sighs> I'm enjoying the game so far. I mean, besides, like, some animation bugs and stuff, uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it has nice atmosphere. Can't wait until the horror elements or like, um, not quite horror, because I don't like being scared, but the, like mystical uh, I, oh, they're horror it's it's existentialist horror that's what it is anyways i'll see you in the next video Bye bye <laughs>